Let's well, moving to Barrington now, where kids are in school right now. While most communities canceled school, Block Island and Barrington decided on a delay. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom in Barrington now with the story. Sean? Yes, Danielle and Patrick, once again for the second snowstorm in a row, only Block Island and Barrington chose to keep their schools open. They started an hour late, but they didn't shut down. It's become an annoyingly familiar routine this winter, digging out yet again. The way it looks, I think we got about 12 inches of snow. Uh, it took us about six hours to clean up. But the timing of this storm gave the plows here in Barrington and on Block Island enough time to clear the roads for school. Although classes did start an hour late in both communities. You have to make choices, especially uh, you know, when you're in public education. And uh, I mean, uh, we only have 180 days of school. And as I said, you can always put it off until June. But uh, you know, we're only in January. So it's, it's, I think, more productive now than later in the year. Barrington Superintendent of Schools says the reaction to his decision is roughly two to one in favor of keeping the schools open. And really, they're just sitting home watching TV and playing, you know, the computer games. So I think that they can be in school. And I think it's good that they're in school. I, I think it's important for them to realize, I mean, the real world has to work. Sco and school is our kids' work. I mean, it's their job, and they need to learn. My son is in high school, and... Um, he needs to know that if it snows, it doesn't mean you get a day off. Our boss is expecting us at work. In other words, it's not just about learning what goes on in the classroom. It's about learning what goes on in life. Live in Barrington with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. All right.